Okay, so um, I'm pleased to meet you, and I don't know you as Nikos does. Um, and your title is Bodily Awareness as a Necessary Condition for Creative Work in the Aesthetic Production Process in Acting. And when I was, I, I reread your chapter several times in preparation for this, and I realised that for me, um, I needed to know more about you, and I think also for our for the readers of these volumes, they will want to know more about you. Mm -hmm. So I um, I'm aware that you, you know, you're an actor, you're a, a director, you've studied in England, you've studied focusing, um, you're incredibly well read in these different philosophies. Um, and I just wonder, and, 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 interestingly, you've been doing a PhD on a topic which is very similar to the topic of your um, yes. chapter. So I wonder I need the final you... stage there. The final stage, okay. Yeah. So maybe you could say something about yourself to begin with. <laughs> this is the most difficult part. Uh, to talk about uh, to, to talk about yourself, this is really a difficult part to talk about. Okay, I think uh, I'm more a director, stage director than I I am an actor. <clears throat> but uh, um, for the last five years, uh, so several times there were some. Uh, projects coming from other directors, not stage directors, but they're from from uh, from uh, cinema or from TV. <clears throat> and they asked me um, to act in their projects. And I did it finally, but I did it in the beginning, mostly because I wanted to see if that what I'm researching, mm -hmm. I'm really able or what I'm teaching I'm really able to do it after so many years um, missing on the stage Miss, uh, when, when I'm not when I was not acting and I did only uh, stage directing and it is, it is something different it is really something different if you have to do it uh, from the beginning uh, then you have to see somebody somebody else doing it the process is the same by feeling it or by sensing it but uh, it is different it is really it is really different um but i'm most of all i'm i, I think i'm i'm a stage director in theater and opera mm -hmm. and uh, also a big part of my uh, professional existence has to do with teaching because uh, i have a, a position as uh, acting as as a teacher Professor of acting in a, in, a, in, a, in a Greek drama school for 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 many many years. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And what is your relation to focusing? How that my relation, started? Yes. My relation to focusing is uh, it started uh, on a personal purpose that I wanted to understand more about that in a in a way that the process of focusing was giving me the codes so I could understand what I understood that I was doing all over my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was important for me to, to have, uh, to put it on also on a theoretical basis that what I already knew, because it was very important for me to have that by teaching, acting through also this focusing process. So you use focusing in your teaching? In the beginning, I used it more in the way uh, the steps of focusing were known. I did it before more in that way, understood. I needed to uh, to see it in a different way a little bit. So most of, of uh, the most 
important part of it is that what I was what, what I'm also uh, calling in the article this condition of bodily awareness, mm -hmm. which is the most basic thing uh, also in the in the focusing process. And I, th I understood that uh, exactly that point is the most important. I should focus on in the process of teaching and in the acting process and also in the directing process on stage on stage. So let me let me see if I understood to uh, what you said. So at first you you were teaching or using focusing in a classic, let's say, way through the focusing yeah. steps, but now you do it differently, more in in a more original, let's say, way. You use focusing indirectly somehow, I... so that you can teach the actors bodily awareness. Yes, and I'm using body. and I'm not using only. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen's uh, way of doing it, uh, because there are a lot of other people that are dealing with this kind of uh, process, body stage, body, mm -hmm. with this kind of process. For example, Hermann Schmitz, mm -hmm. a German philosopher, he died uh, some, some, I think last year, I think he died, and also. Uh, Gernot Böhme, who was both of them were dealing also, uh, they have this uh, founded this new phen phenomenology thing and uh, this philosophy of body by mentioning a lot of body stages in the way uh, for example, uh, Schmitz did it in the way very, very basically um, focusing on two things that the body is able to do. If something is coming in front of you, uh, there is a body reaction. And this body reaction can be only two things for, for Schmitz. And I think he's absolutely right in that. There is a, contract, a contracting or a widening process. Mm -hmm. And he said that the, the only the, this um, energy bringing forward people is not coming through the widening process. It is coming through the contraction process, which means this feeling that there is something close inside of me. There is something in German, it is much better. To, it, it is. It is uh, uh, in Greek, you can say it. Uh, maybe you can help me a little bit with that, Nikos. Uh, stenema, mm -hmm. narrow, I think it is. Huh? Yes, narrow, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. narrow. This narrow thing is bringing the energy because people want to widen it because they, don't, they cannot stand it for a long time. This is the energy bringing them forward to look for some uh, practices bringing, giving them the, a better feeling in that. Mm -hmm. Until the next narrow situation is coming, which brings them again and again and again in this kind of loop, in this kind of thing, bringing them forward, forward, much more, much more, much more. This is, uh, for me, the most important thing for the, for the actors to understand that, because fo uh, the focusing process, I think it is the next step, uh, being my, more uh, concrete with this narrow, this uh, feeling narrow or wide, or wide, this giving it, it a more specific name. Huh? Schmitz didn't give a didn't give a name on it. He, for him, for him, it was uh, you. You feel this uh, narrow thing, or this, you you feel this wide thing with everything. It is, but everything is coming new. You feel it like a narrow inside of you. That's that's really interesting, and that that is um, 
I, 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 when I was trying to work out what you were doing more, mm -hmm. I, um, I, I found an article which is actually on the EFA website um, where you talk about focusing more specifically uh, mm -hmm. in relation to the, uh, the process of acting. Mm. And that was very interesting. But what you're, I mean, in fact, I found it a really helpful article to read. And I wish I'd read it before I'd, I'd read your chapter, in fact. But um, it sounds as though your, the, your way of working has really shifted from there. Mm -hmm. But now you're encompassing this much broader understanding. And that fundamentally what you're doing in your work is working through this process of narrowing and expanding expanding that's the word i wonder what i was waiting for i couldn't find it expanding okay, yeah yes yeah. <clears throat> and so you're so you're actors so when you when you set up when you're directing um you are uh um, is this right you are endeavoring to generate an atmosphere where there is some kind of interaction where there is an interplay of contraction and expansion. And I'm exactly playing with that, with them, because what they are feeling, in the way they are feeling that what they're doing, what they are doing, when I'm, when I'm directing, I feel in the same way. I feel this contraction or this, if something is going right or in the right direction, this narrow thing, when I feel this narrow inside of me, it's bringing me, it's giving me, it's like a compass. It's giving me the direction, okay, something is not like I need it to be. So I'm, this gives me the impulse starting reaching out. What is that what I really want? Seeing that what I'm seeing, but it is not in the, in the harmony inside of in my body. And I start this like a, it is something like a scenic, a scenic dialogue with them, telling them, okay, do it a little bit like that, do it a little bit like that. And it's bringing the thing in harmony. If it is in harmony, I have this felt shift. I have this, okay. wow. <laughs> okay, okay. That it is. <laughs> and it so is clear and I, there is no doubt. <laughs> And that, that sounds brilliant and really clear. And what I'm really curious to know is, do they experience it in the same way at the same time? They experience it much more. And now we are going to another field. It has to do with the feelings, general, in general, in the, the feelings in, in the acting process. There is a big, big misunderstanding. I mm -hmm. think, in general, there's a big misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. uh, because, and next, uh, I, can I have the, this to explain it a little bit more? And I will come back to that, what, what, you, what you're asking for. Yes, no, no, I'm, in the I'm, same way. Because it needs this, uh, this link mm -hmm. to understand it. Mm, please, please do. Okay. Uh, the big under misunderstanding is when uh, a lot of actors have the feeling they have to feel like the th theatrical character is feeling. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. And it is not possible. This is a kind of identica identification process. This is not possible. Mm -hmm. I can be empathic with somebody, but I cannot feel like the other person is feeling. I can come close to something to understand something, but I will never feel like feel like the other person or the theatrical theatrical uh, character role ac uh, character in this sim symbolic way of writing. What I in the first on the first stage I can understand is feeling. This is unimpossible. The only thing I can understand how maybe he is feeling. Mm -hmm. That's all I can do. Yeah. So. Because also the actors are a living organism, they feel something. Mm -hmm. What is what they are feeling? They are feeling exactly that, that what they are doing, they're doing it with success. So they feel it is in harmony what they are doing, what we tried to fix 
in front in the in the rehearsal process and in this um, process to give it back or to repeat it in this repeating process it needs this repetition to understand that mm -hmm. if it is successful or not they understand that that's what they are feeling if it is successful they have this felt shift okay that's all they have to feel <laughs> nothing okay. else and this is the truth that is what people are feeling when something is uh, something is happening and it is happening in a way they wanted it to happen okay uh -huh. okay so they experience a felt shift and you at that point would be experiencing expansion tell me again i didn't understand that you're because you said earlier about that you experience exp you know the contraction and then the expansion and then you know that something is right yes and so I know just, it when when the ex expansion is coming when the expansion is coming okay and and what i'm what i'm asking really is does that um correlate with the felt shift in the actor oh that's i don't understand if it is if, 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 if because the felt shift is a subject subjective yeah, thing maybe, how maybe. he's feeling it it cannot be in the same way yeah. but uh, a lot of times they don't feel that it is uh, it is already in balance hmm? uh -huh. but i can, i could see it is in balance okay. there, is a, there is a difference mm -hmm. in between sometimes mm -hmm. hmm? and they need this trust because sometimes that what they are feeling because of a lot of things they are in time thinking okay i didn't uh, because i saw the this um, um his eyes his his eyes were a little bit like that or mm, he did like that and they are combining this with with that what they are doing they are not in a in a vacuum uh, mm -hmm. space so there are there is already communication in between and this communication is influencing them <laughs> and this non-verbal communication is influencing them so the most of the time i try to be really like a statue not giving them any input when they are doing it so they cannot see anything from me so they cannot they have not the feeling uh, going out of the process okay i have to go out of the process and i have to do something else because he it, it doesn't fit it is not what he wanted to see hmm? mm -hmm. it is difficult really it is difficult it's a really really sensitive process uh, bringing the actors to the point that they tr are trusting that and they are trust that what they are feeling uh, through this bodily feeling, when I'm making a movement, huh, there is a time of the movement. Huh? There is a weight of the of the arm. They must feel that. Huh? If they are feeling that, it is alive. Mm -hmm. It is alive, and that is what they, what it needs in the repetition pro process. It's f fascinating. Fascinating. And then you can make the difference, not this is the thing you bring it really you make it alive you have the feeling they are doing it now every time now from the beginning when they are when they are focusing on this kind of bodily feeling through repeating the movement uh, choreography it's something like a choreography it's not, it's not changing because I, I wake up in the morning and I feel a little bit different. I will not do it in a different way. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, in, a, in a painting, I change because I feel I'm feeling different. I change the color. <laughs> it is not in that way. Yeah. Nobody will change the color. Uh, the color yeah. means it, it remains the same color. And in the, in the, in the um, um, this is this is in the material arts. In the material arts, nothing is changing. And it's clear. The smile of Joconda, mm -hmm. it's the, the same. Mm 
on the, on the picture it's the same it's different because you are different every day uh -huh. yeah therefore you see it and every day in, in a different way and in the dramatic arts it you need to find a way to give this to the audience something stable which is very difficult to have it on a stable mm -hmm. on a stable view and uh, as, as I read it, it sounds, it does sound, it does read like choreography. It is. That, that, that movement is, is a really important part of this and that you, so together with the actors, is this, you know, together with the actors or in this interaction or in this atmosphere, okay. you, you generate what, what you call a movement script that is then something what, like that yes what what the perfor the performance is an enactment of that movement script yes is that right yes that sounds uh, how it is and that uh, um, to me sounds um a very interesting and unique way of approaching theatre direction mm. and I and noticing the shift between you know you you in 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 your chapter you you emphasize the bodily element of this yes. and I'm and what I'm wondering is do you feel that that is a generally neglected area in theatre direction it in general is eh? Neglected. Neglected. What is that? Um, it is not appreciated, appreciated. as it should yeah. be. This is a very, very difficult question <laughs> because <laughs> for me it should be like that. Mm -hmm. I, I'm working in this uh, field more than 30 years and I tried a lot of things. Uh, that is the only thing I think it gives the most precise answers to a very, very comp uh, complicated process and makes the actors able to, to form something which have which which they should and this is the the, the aim they should communicate with the audience which is the most important part mm -hmm. in the uh, in the performance during the performance okay so when when the when the performance the performance is starting the actors are not the important thing. The important thing is that what they are doing, they have to, in the um, rehearsal process, we are, uh, we are putting something in some, some kind of codes. So these codes must be in a way common with the codes of the, of the audience so they can decode it. And there is a, something like a synchronization of this bodily feeling, which is not very, very easy to, uh, to get this, but also the audience should, 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 it's a big word, mm -hmm. but I, I, I try to give the audience the, the possibility to, uh, to communicate with their own bodies through that what they are seeing. So this is a modern way of catharsis, or you can you, you you can say it like that: a modern a modern form of catharsis, which is bringing them to some problems, to some things they can think afterwards. Mm -hmm. But during the performance, it's only a body thing, nothing else. It should be nothing else. I am realizing that we are talking about, let's say, difficult things for one to describe <laughs> okay i mean you you are talking in your chapter about the entanglement between the subjective body and the objective body uh, and you you mentioned this many times 
uh, using quotes from Smiths, from Beme, from Gendling, um, etc. So when I read the, your chapter, I, I felt and I still feel that I, I want more of this. I want to understand more. Your chapter was at the same time difficult and easy. I mean, the language is not very perplexed, but I suppose that the process of, of the acting, the acting process or the creative in general process uh, when it comes to theater or opera or whatever, or dance maybe, it is something where you can feel this entanglement. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, all this process would not be able, would not be possible if, and I will show it, will give you a, an example, a practice example, and you will understand this immediately. When I'm taking this hand and I'm grabbing the other hand, it is, this is the subject doing it. Mm -hmm. Like an object, it's touching an object, but the object is feeling that it is touched. <laughs> And also, the subject is an object that it is doing it. So you are both, and this is the entanglement, you are both yeah. at the same time. Yes. And uh, the, I, that is not only that I am moving, I am also the organ that is, that is be moved. So in your chapter, you, 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 you try, as I see it, to, to show the importance of bodily awareness of, of the body, of the bodiness in general, and also the importance of movement itself. And you use uh, Husserl, Zahavi. Uh... For Husserl, it is the, um, the movement is a condition of, be, mm -hmm. of, be, of being aware. Yes. Without movement, uh, he's, he's saying nobody is able to be aware of something. He cannot change the perspective. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you bring concepts from new phenomenology. Uh, or you talk about atmospheres. You talk about radiating feelings in the space. Uh, you talk about ha having a body, being a body. Um, it, it is something difficult to describe, but I suppose uh, uh, when you direct or when you act on stage, uh, then this difficult to describe thing becomes more sensible, uh, more obvious, yeah. more clear, more <laughs> trustworthy. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. So this, this was my feeling when I read your chapter that I want to know more. I want to, to read more. So, of course, I am waiting for your PhD thesis to, to be translated in English. But you have something uh, Judy was not able to see. You saw uh, different yes. performances yes. in that way. So my this is not only to tell to to tell you more about this because all these things are uh, uh, I'm doing these things for you for the audience for people they like they are uh, and and for you somehow it's a, it's a and for you presence a co production in between that what is on, going on on stage and the audience giving the meanings, giving all this. It is a co-production. Huh? It is not, uh, we are doing something on stage and that it is. No, it needs your attention. process giving meanings. And you saw, for example, my last uh, performance and I think you could see everything in it what I'm talking about. 
and I wanted to to understand what did you see there. I I felt atmospheres, a sound, sound was very important. Rhythms uh, and also a, a, a something very dense, dense. Uh, well thought, <laughs> well rehearsed again and again, a, perf a performance that creates a an atmosphere for me, for the, for the audience. It that gave, is what... Uh, gave this performance, did it give to you some bodily feelings? But yes, bodily... of course, of course, yes. Yes, and, uh, and and this this performance, your last theater production was, let's say, um, your profession, your uh, and and instead your your chapter is your is a theoretical view mm -hmm. upon yeah. that, or a, a theoretical explanation, or something like theoretical. Uh, doing or making a, a, an effort to 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 see this creative process from a new perspective uh, uh, also structuring it for me doing this uh, thesis i am i structure myself it's, yes i'm yes. doing it also for myself yes yes what what I would like to ask you is, um, if I were to, I would love to see one of your productions, <laughs> and if I were to see one, and you've talked about the you know the importance of movement and gesture, and we've talked about the choreography of it, would I as a as a non you know with my ten Greek words or whatever, would I do you think I would be able to respond to it on this bodily level mm. that you are, you know, it sounds as though it's bodily produced and um, you're inviting a bodily response. You just asked Nikos about his bodily response to it. Mm. Does it need language to it generate? Needs, it needs bodily awareness. And I have the, I have two examples. In this performance, I have two examples, and then afterward I will tell you another ex experience from a different culture. I did a performance, and they understood everything. Mm -hmm. It is somehow uh, this language, through, it's not a body language, but it is this communication through the body, this energy, this, in, in some way it is um, reacting to your own body. It is coded in, every, in, in all this. I had this time, I had the possibility uh, to, um, to, to ask a, a person coming from an English background and another person from German language back, background. Both, mm -hmm. they said the same thing. I, of course, I couldn't understand everything in detail, but I could underst understand what really is going on and I could understand the relationships. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in 2000, I did a work on Greek, ancient Greek tragedy, uh, the or Oristia, and I, I, I brought it to Egypt. Okay. And this is a, not only another, another language, this is also another culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I had the same, uh, there was the same connection. They understood it, ev they understood it, everything. They understood everything. <coughs> it was amazing to see that. So it's a real, it's a real sort of common humanity communication then, isn't it? I think so, yes. It's a good, that's a good uh, um, Term to 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 to, uh, to bring it on the on the on the po on the point. It's it's really it's like the, something like that. It's, I think it is some something like that. That's my experience. Yeah. That's so my experience. really interesting. Really interesting. 
It is about ex contraction and expansion. It is about radiating feelings, radi uh, atmospheres. Uh, much more atmospheres, atmospheres, because the, f the atmospheres are, are working somehow. Uh, they try to conquer you, to come, to come through you. Mm? Mm. But as a human being, we have the possibility to deny, mm, to stop it. For example, Burma gives uh, there a really, really a, a great uh, example. You are going through a wood, hearing the birds. This is a special kind of atmosphere. And somehow you are turning and you hear the music and seeing the process of a funeral. This is changing immediately the atmosphere. But a human being, as a living organism, has a possibility. Uh, and, and this new atmosphere try to come through you. It's trying to conquer you. But you have the possibility to stop it. To let, okay, I don't want this. Mm -hmm. So it is possible. This is a, this, the choice you can do. The atmospheres are there. And you have the choice what is coming through you or not. Or somebody else can say, okay, oh, it is a nice weather. I'm feeling well. I'm so happy. It is not the that the weather is making you happy. We have the weather in its kind, in, in, this, in this special kind of atmosphere is the atmosphere. It is the happiness. It is, it, it is in, in, in that. And another person is saying, I don't understand what you're telling. It's just no rain, not raining. <laughs> you understand what I try to say? This, we have the, this possibility of this possibility of uh, choosing something uh, to to, uh, to 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 be a part of it or not. It is the same with the theater performance. When somebody is going out, what I what did I see? I couldn't understand anything. I didn't want it. He is blocking this atmosphere. He, he, he doesn't want it. Are you happy in your, in your uh, let's say, creative process through so many years? I mean, you are a person, a director, in, uh, and also an actor uh, in development, let's say, in you, uh, focusing and uh, new phenomenology are combined somehow. And not only combined, but they are put also in practice in yeah. an original way you you i suppose i i can imagine that you try to 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 discover new things new practices to to test them you try to test them and see if they are uh, if they give you what you want or no or not so are you happy in your creative let's say I will process I will, and I will development. Tell. How do you see yourself in the future? <laughs> I will tell you. I will tell you. I'm not so. I think I'm not in. An, in first of all, you, you say I'm. I'm an actor or an, a, a stage director in the in uh, development. You said that. I yeah. don't think so. That it is like that. I think I came to a point mm -hmm. saying, "Okay, that it is." Okay, but it is with open windows and with open doors. <laughs> I will not change this point of view. Mm -hmm. I will not change this because I understood it is a growing up process, and I I think I grew up. Yeah. It is nothing closed, but I grew up. So it is not not such a kind. I'm in the beginning to develop something. Yes. It is already developed. But when I'm starting to research or giving or, or giving other things the chance, this is the open doors or the open windows. The, uh, other inputs, other um, impulses from okay. other point of views. Of course, I I must let this happen. Uh, I'm not doing it to develop it more, more and more because I think the basic is that. Yeah. What I told about. It is much more to make it more comfortable, to make it more uh, easier for the actors and for the audience 
to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. So it, it seems that you have found your language or your teaching language, your directing language already. And the direction I want to go. Yes. <laughs> I, when I when I read your chapter this most recent time, um, I felt it was the culmination of something. It felt like a real coming together. It felt like it did feel like a, a life's work coming together in a very very dense way. And it I I I sort of I wanted to know more. Um, so I'm really pleased to have had the opportunity to talk to you about it because mm -hmm. it, it did raise many, many questions. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit conscious of the time, but could I just ask you one, one final thing that I'm really curious about, which is you, you talk about inspiration um, and the importance of inspiration. And I, and I was thinking, well, there are so many inspirations in there because there's your inspiration as director, there is the actor's inspiration in terms of their part. And I, and I suddenly began to say, yeah, and then there's the, there's the playwright, there's the Shakespeare or the whoever, whoever. Brecht. <laughs> Brecht, whoever, 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 um, has actually created this work in the first place. And, and I was thinking, well, whose who's is the dominant inspiration in this? <laughs> The, dom the, the point is not which is the dominant inspiration. The point is to understand and to trust that you are not the main inspiration. Okay. The inspiration, you, the, you are bringing yourself, creating conditions to be able to understand the, the, the inspiration. It is coming anytime to you but if it's coming it's it's coming from outside inspiration is nothing what is coming what, what, what uh, i understood inspiration is it's something from your outer mm -hmm. it's coming from outer it is not coming from inside okay, okay. i understood mm -hmm. uh, therefore i'm hearing you and this is inspirate this gives me an inspiration for answering uh -huh. Otherwise, it is something uh, uh, there is no really encounter with anything. It's, if I'm not doing this, it is a re inspiration is giving the. Of course, look the part of of the of the author who did the piece, who write, write who, who who wrote the piece. Of course, it's important, but it is not theater. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. It is not moving. Yeah. It is written down and it is not theater, it is literature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It I is see. not theater, it is it needs to be performed. If it is not performed, you cannot talk about it is not it is not um, uh, theater. Yeah. It needs to be performed. Yeah. It needs to be felt. It, it's like, in a way, it needs to have life breathed into it. Yes. Yeah. Ensoulment, the inspiration, so, inspiratio, uh -huh, which means yeah. ensoulment, uh, afletos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it is, is, it is, it is like a very, it's, it's a loud, yes, I, I, I get what you're saying. But it, it's coming to you. It is coming, yeah. On, and the, and the, that, what you have to do is to create the conditions not to block it, to be yeah. there when it's coming. So it's it's like an ultimate openness to everything. To everything. Yeah. Of course, you have the under you. You can uh, can decide. Okay, this is not what it what I want. But this narrow, expanding process gives me to understand what kind of inspiration is working and what kind of inspiration is not working. Mm -hmm. It is connected. Everything is connected in them, and there it in the Nico and Nikos is right when he is saying this is really really difficult to explain. Maybe maybe more, much more than you can you can say with words. Mm -hmm. So have you? I mean, is there anything that you can show to us? I mean, 
uh, a little, two minutes of uh, rehearsal process or a short video from your training process with actors, real actors, when you do focusing exercises with them or when you do, let's say, breathing exercises, I don't know what you do. I mean, I feel that this would be very enlightening. I mean, very, very... <laughs> I understand, but I'm, I, I will explain that I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I never did it because it is such a personal mm -hmm. moment with the actors, a focus on, uh, even a focus, another focus, even through a camera, is a disturbing this process. Mm -hmm. hmm? I'm not even allow another person, the actors don't know to be a part of this process, to, understand, to see it or to, uh, to understand a little bit much more. It needs some, uh, I, first of all, I need um, permission. The permission. I need the permission for, from them to do it hmm? because it's really, it's really personal, this process. And therefore, I, I, I didn't do it, not even to show something in my PhD. I, I didn't do it, not even in that process. I described it God. with words. Right. And I, 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 I tried to my professor, I tried to, he was, why are you not doing it? It's much more easier, but it's okay. But it is, I think it is contraproductive. It is disturbing the process. So, and therefore, so, I cannot show that. I can give you, I can give you some, uh, but it is of course. It is. I understand you are, you you because in Western culture we are we are only focused on the result, and we should be uh, focused on the process mm. uh, of the result. Which, which is, the process is coming, it is giving, to show how to get to this result. I understand that. We, we, of course. And this process is to be focused on the process, not on the result, because uh, every process has its result. If I'm changing the process, the result will, will be different. I can give you some, uh, some video, some little short thing to understand the result, but I cannot give you something uh, to see the whole process. The process. <laughs> That's it's, it's, um, that's, it's not possible. No. I decided not to do that in this work. I understand that. But, but I, 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 you, I understand in that process, that in that process, you use focusing to bring it back to focusing again, this discussion of ours. In I'm using process. focusing, but in a different way. I'm yes. not using this uh, clearing space Thing. For me, it is an inner space. It is an in, in, an, either, an, 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 an inner stage. And I think you 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 read this article, uh, Julie. I, I read this article. Where I changed a little bit the huh? uh, the terms. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But 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 what it uh, what it sounds to me that you're saying is that actually the process that you engage in with the actors is very intimate and very subtle and has to be very private and it, and it involves a great deal of trust it sounds as though trust is absolutely critical that's the key word trust it's, trust, yeah. it's a really really the, the, the most important keyboard in there and therefore i decided not to do it because i understood uh, the truth is that in the beginning i did it and i saw the difference yeah if somebody has a focus, and we know everybody, everybody, we know, we know it all, all of us. If somebody is, uh, oh, make a photograph, make make a photo. We are trying to do something else. Yeah, yeah. But being natural. <laughs> yeah, it's different. And yeah, yeah. It is. It's like when you when you record a therapy session, for example. It is difficult already. It's difficult to feel for them to feel observed by my by me. It is already difficult for them. Mm. Yeah, and then you've got another okay. layer on top of that. That's re it's very interesting, really. And interesting. what is interesting, Jude, is also that Michael comes from, let's say, the periphery of the focusing world because focusing 
more or less is connected to therapy these days or to counseling or to but Michael comes from the performing arts so it is something different than the usual focusing discussion or discussions about focusing I used focusing in a way uh, Gentlin was uh, proposed it not only for uh, it, afterwards it came much more to the uh, psychotherapy field but he, he said you can use it in, in every field you want because he understood it is a, in generally a pro in general it is a process that every human being is doing already if he understood it if he is understanding it or not uh, he's to, uh, once uh, one somebody is to, all we are all doing it it is in our nature this process somehow uh, and i this is a, uh, somehow i'm a little bit sorry for that that uh, uh, this focusing process uh, somehow is focused somehow only on the psychotherapy uh, thing and uh, i'm a little bit sorry for that because there are much more more possibilities much more possibilities I, I think I think we definitely agree with you there, um, and I think that uh, you know I mean your your chapter is a good example of it's kind of like it's accessing you know this pre-verbal bodily knowing that that mm. became known as focusing, you know, and there are there are other chapters in the book that also look at it from different angles, but I think yours is a really um, uh, it's it's a really good and it's a really interesting example of how this can how this kind of awareness can sort of play out in a particular creative environment in a way that is i i think it's absolutely fascinating and i you know and as i say i really want to see one of your productions even if i can't see the process i would love to see the final product and can i just ask you so do, do your productions ever go online there were one production were online because of the, pan, uh, of the pandemic COVID thing. Mm -hmm. it, the, the production I did now, it, for, um, uh, Nikos saw it as a live performance. It exists also uh, on online. Okay. Uh, streaming. I have this performance. Yes, I have it. I should. I should watch it then. And you can see it. Yeah. I will find a way to. To bring it to your attention. <laughs> but I wanted to say something else, Judy. Thank you very much for uh, giving me this feedback that I that that what I understood was that my my that my try to uh, to put focusing or that what makes focusing the focusing process, focusing uh, from a different point of view that I was able, I, it seems that it, it really, it worked and uh, I could work it out and you could understand that. And thank you for giving me this feedback. It's very important for me to understand that. No, I really, I really liked it. I mean, I was, I was challenged by it. I had to reread it. I mean, because it was very, very dense, but but I, 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 it really does to me communicate well, actually. And so, thank you very much. And I understand more from having had this discussion. So, thank you for being willing to take part in this. Can you say that again? Because my computer's all oh, right. the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, what did I say? something about thank you <laughs> yeah yes no, well thank thank you very much for being willing to engage with us and to take part in this process which has helped me to understand your chapter even better thank you for inviting me doing that it is not uh, it is for me not so often people want to know little bit more about that 
and I'm really thankful for the opportunity, even with my bad English, to understand, to, to get into, to, it is, it, you see, this is my, it is exactly that what I'm talking about. My feeling is my English is bad. Mm -hmm. It's my bodily feeling and you are in the direct, in the stage director per, uh, position and you're saying, okay, no, no, it is not that. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yes. It's exactly what I try to and to, to give to, to give you to understand from the from the actor stage director uh, relationship. Oh, they are, they feel oh I did it really wrong. I, I it was a bad performance. I did it. I was not good. So no, not at all. It was super. Yeah. So the, your my bodily feeling because I'm connected in this language problem. I think I have. <laughs> in English, okay. in Greek, I don't have it. In German, of course, I this was my native language. I don't have it. Yeah. Uh, but this bodily feeling, it's different from your experience. Perception. That's really, that's, that's a wonderful example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you feel that that early article would not be good to, um, bring to people's attention no it is uh, of course you can give it to the to the yeah. to the attention of the people but it is really concentrated only on the focusing process yeah yeah it is not involved we, from we, this different path yeah that came afterward and i think it's very important to to not to employ this to um to enrich it with yeah. this kind of involvement from different uh, kind of uh, perspectives which uh, at the end are saying the same thing yeah 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 I, I, yeah, but, yeah. But maybe it is a good contrast between the old and the new yeah. let's say descriptions mm. Maybe you, if one reads both I mean the new chapter and the old article then, they can understand better what what happened <laughs> or what is happening in your mind. <laughs> it's a big development. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, yes, and 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 I really I really liked seeing that development. I mean, I really mm -hmm. appreciated being able to see the development. So, I'm glad that I read. I yes, and it will be translated in English, so you have the possibility much more to, if you want. To come in it to come to come through that yes very good because you 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 bring uh, you bring so many new elements into focusing from smiths from husserl so um, this is a new era let's say <laughs> and i tell only one thing when you are going in the performance to see a performance what is that what you are saying <laughs> Bodies. You are seeing bodies, moving bodies, and no text, no idea of the text, nothing will come through you if they are not using, if they are not moving through their bodies. It's coming through the bodies and, okay, through the light design. This is something much more. It is more than the, this move, movement thing. It's, it's, it's much more. But the idea or the language, which is also a movement process, you can all, uh, only you can hear this movement. This is my position. It is only movement. Movement, you can see, move your movement, you can hear, and movement, you can feel through your body in, 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 in such kind of way. It is, you can, it is the body you are confronted with when you're coming to, the, to a theater. Huh? Not with a theater piece, the, it's the bodies that make it possible. It make it possible to to be communicated to you. Yes. And I like this phrase that it is the bodies that make that make possible. Yes, yes. it is very symbolic phrase. Which this. means the education <laughs> should be on the bodies and yeah. not on the on the dramaturgic way how a piece is uh, is written. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> it's not working. That's not working. Nobody could, uh, you, ca you cannot educate, nobody will be an actor through understanding how 
a theater piece is written. Nobody will be able to be an actor. But if he understands how his body is working from the inner, from the inside to, uh, to the outside, that, is, that makes him possible, uh, makes the person possible to, uh, to maybe to, to be an actor. That's a big yeah. difference. I love that. Brilliant. <laughs> This inner act, somewhere you say inner act, about inner action. Inner movement. This is very, this is very intriguing. Mm. Two words, inner act. What does that mean? <laughs> inner act. Mm -hmm. Inner act. Being aware of that what is going on. It is from, 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 from gently. Yes, of course. But it is much more this inner movement. I made it in inner movement much more because something is moving when you are changing mm. the behavior. Something is moving and you can understand this change through this, to be, through this being aware through this inner movement. Mm. You can understand it. That, that's why I, I actually prefer expansion and contraction to inner act. Mm. It's more explicit, it's more helpful. It's movie. It's movie. <laughs> yeah, it's, yes, it's moving. Yeah. 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 I think it is Donata that who who has written that Smith's has only these two words, two concepts, contraction and expansion. And this is something that reduces the richness of focusing. Mm -hmm. of gently but it seems that you say the opposite that this is something like a more basic base i think it's a more basic it is before gentling i think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is a condition for gentling i think yeah something like that this is it is long yes i think it is something like a condition without because it is more of fun fundamental. It is more... Yes, it's more fundamental, I think. That what Gentling is doing, or was doing, or we are doing through this, uh, through Gentling's, Gentling's thoughts, it is more concrete. It gives a concrete name to that what is what it is narrowing or expanding hmm? in the first i think we have this it is expanding and gently try to name this expanding thing give it a special name that's what i understand in this felt sense the felt sense i think it is a uh, more concrete it describes in a more concrete way this contraction thing this narrow that's my feeling okay so we are having this dialogue for over one hour maybe it is time to give an end to make it it was much easier than i thought <laughs> Thank you very much. I am sure that if if we had this dialogue in German, let's say, it would be maybe something different. I don't know. But it was nice that we <laughs> struggled with English. Oh. And we tried to express soon that. I, soon I will have such kind of discussion uh, in, in, in German. German. But it, with you, it is much more... Um, it's much more a pleasure because uh, you will not uh, uh, try to, you are not Does trying you? to destroy me because <laughs> in my disputatio, in my defense, it will come in, in, in two or three months. They will, oh, they are, surely there are some people inside that will destroy me. They try to destroy me. Oh, I, I really, really hope they don't. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a real, I mean, I, we have arguments. It has been a real pleasure to talk to you. Mm. Really enjoyed it. And thank you, thank you thank very you much, Michael. Back. And really. it is we will see. It's also a pleasure, and I hope I will meet you in person soon, Julie.
Yes, I would love that. Who knows when? But yes, <laughs> that would be lovely.